In four seasons coaching for the Cowboys, McCarthy has a 42 and 25 season record, but is just one in three in the playoffs. The playoff record stands out. He also coached Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. And when he won the Super Bowl in 2010 with Aaron Rodgers, he won it as the final wild card team. Mike McCarthy doesn't get any credit on how this offense played this year. This isn't Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore went to the Chargers this past year. Justin Herbert could stay healthy and when he was playing the offense was not good Kellen Moore and Mike McCarthy did not get along Mike McCarthy likes to run the offense faster Kellen Moore likes to ease up on the offense run the ball and throw the ball in certain positions and ways to run the offense and that was very different this year with Mike McCarthy Mike McCarthy was getting the guys up at the line very quickly and it was all fast throws and Dak Prescott last year why he made a lot of mistakes is he held on to the ball too long this year it was in and out of his hands and that helped Dak Prescott. That also helped the Cowboys in running some of their slant plays and using Pollard in the open field, which they did well the year before, and it didn't work out as well as they thought this year. CeeDee Lamb had an unbelievable season. He's one of the best wide receivers in the league. You can argue he's a top three wide receiver in all of football. He broke every Cowboy record this year, having over 1,600 yards, 120 catches. He had a sensational year. I don't know where Dan Quinn's going to go, and more than likely, he's going to go to Seattle. Unless the Panthers or the Titans really want Dan Quinn and they want to jump on it as quick as possible. There's no way he's getting the Charger job. There's a chance he might get the commander job because they'll hire anybody. Harris is a new owner, so maybe he wants to bring in a big name. But it seems like it's Seattle or the Panthers. I do not believe that he's coming back next year. But I will say this for Jerry Jones. You're going into an offseason where there's a lot of questions. When is he going to step back and let his son take over as the GM slash owner of this organization? Jerry Jones is in his 80s. He's at the tail end of his life. And he needs to let a younger generation push the right buttons. Because the buttons have not been pushed right for over 30 years. They haven't won a championship since the 90s. They've had plenty of good teams. Probably one of the better offensive lines in the early 2000 era. Dak Prescott is not a bad quarterback. Now, is he good in the playoffs? He hasn't been. He hasn't shown up in the big-time spots you expect a starting quarterback to do of a huge organization that has been successful. Where did Mike McCarthy come from? The Packers. And he's trying to rebuild the confidence of a quarterback that people have given up on. You're going into the offseason. Dak Prescott is going to make $60 million next year. They don't have a lot of money in the offseason when it comes to free agency. So they're going into the season next year with practice the same team. So Jerry Jones has to be smart this offseason. And that's why I think his son needs to be more involved in the decision making of this team and this organization. And I understand why Jerry Jones kept Mike McCarthy. How could you fire a guy that's given you almost 12 wins back to back to back seasons? He hasn't won a Super Bowl. He's only won one game. He hasn't even been in an NFC title game. Just to find a coach that's going to give you consecutive winning seasons, it's not common. And I know a lot of Cowboy fans did not like the fact that Mike McCarthy's coming back. Oh, we have a chance to get Bill Belichick or we have a chance to get Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh was never going to the Cowboys. And I didn't believe at any point that Bill Belichick had any chance of going to the Cowboys. Bill Belichick is not going to ride Bill Parcell's jockstrap. He didn't want to do that with the Jets. He really didn't want to do that when he was defensive coordinator with the Giants in the 80s and the 90s. He wanted to be his own self. And he still went to a team that Bill Parcell's at one point coached and took a team all the way to a Super Bowl in the New England Patriots. And he proved that he didn't need to be on Bill Parcells' jockstrap to be successful. And he became one of the greatest coaches in NFL history, if not the greatest. Jerry Jones, he's contradicted himself over the years, holding on to Jason Garrett for as long as he did. And I thought he was like five years overdue from getting rid of him. Because Dallas, with Jason Garrett, lost three straight win-or-go-home games to win the NFC East. If that doesn't sell collapse in the playoffs, I don't know what does. And the Cowboys have had similar woes, but they're consistently in the playoffs. Besides the first year, where they went 6-10, and 10, Mike McCarthy's been in the playoffs 12 win seasons every year. Now, he has had clock management issues, not using certain players properly, like he did with Ezekiel Elliott, T.D. Lamb, and Ferguson, where the only consistent guys all year. So, yeah, there are definitely criticisms, but when you have somebody like Dak Prescott, who's going to get a big contract this offseason, you have to get the quarterback position right. And Dak Prescott, he was a good quarterback before that, but he has never been this great like he has been in the last two years. Even the 2022 year, where he led the league in interceptions, he still had some very good advanced metrics. A lot of that comes with McCarthy's development. Now, the defensive coordinator I would be concerned with because I think Dan Quinn's going to Seattle too. And they're going to lose a lot of players in that front seven, a lot of free agents. Maybe that's another reason they're trying to say we could just trust to be an offensive team. That's why they trust an offensive scheme that works for them.